Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mithilesh Kumar Chau and uh, this is the live session for the course Introduction to Political Theory. Um, I hope you, uh, you are enjoying the course and uh, using the discussion forum to uh, read your dots, queries and share your feedback and you are getting uh, replies or response from um, the TA or me regularly. Uh, so, um, uh, in this live session, I would request you to um, write your uh, comments, your uh, uh, questions or queries about this course, which I would like to uh, discuss. And also, um, uh, in the meanwhile, some of you have asked question on the Google spreadsheet and also some question on the discussion forum which I would like to discuss. So first is about <coughs> you know many of you are uh, asking about uh, the uh, reading materials for this course or reference uh, of books and so on. So. You know, as I have been saying that um, video lectures, PPT and the uh, lecture notes, that means uh, uh, transcription of the uh, video lecture would be sufficient as far as exam is concerned. But for some topic or some, uh, you know, issue, if you want to know further, if you want to engage a bit deeper, in each lecture, uh, I have given one slide about uh, the reference. So from that reference, you can go uh, deeper to um, uh, expand your understanding to more about that particular topic that you can do in addition to these video lectures, PPT and the lecture notes which will be provided. So, uh, you know, uh, and that's about uh, the reference. Second is, many of you have rightly said about uh, providing the PPTs and uh, the PDF notes. So we are working on it. Uh, many of the PPTs or the lecture notes have been already provided. It's available on the course portal. For <coughs> few, we are uh, working on it and uh, hopefully um, we will upload it uh, within uh, this week. So, um, uh, that's about uh, PPTs and the lecture notes. Then, um, there is, um, you know, uh, some questions about, um, there is some question about um, the exam, uh, the nature of the exam, uh, and many of you, I hope, are familiar with that. So, um, the question would be uh, basically objective type questions uh, where you will get uh, multiple choice and uh, um, you need to uh, pick up the correct option out of those uh, uh, multiple options provided to you. Now, <coughs> uh, in terms of uh, assessment, I hope many of you have uh, been submitting the assignments regularly and based eight assignments would be uh, considered for the overall assign, uh, assessment. Now, um, uh, in the final exam, you will have, uh, you know, uh, you will have many uh, uh, questions which is directly from the assignments segment. So, we, you know, about uh, uh, 15 or so uh, would be from uh, the assignment uh, 
few questions would be on the basis of your uh, ability to recall while uh, watching the lectures, uh, 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 reading the uh, PPTs and so on. So there would be some question uh, which would assist your ability to recall or remember about this course. And then a number of questions would be to assess your understanding or comprehension of the course and the topics. So, uh, you know, uh, you will have different kinds of questions, but all questions would be objective in nature. So, uh, that's about um, uh, examination and I hope uh, you will all do uh, uh, great or better uh, in the exam and as you know this um, uh, exam or final exam is um, uh, through online uh, method and I hope you are getting the details about that on the course portal. If you have any uh, doubts or queries because of this pandemic or other things, you can write uh, that on the course portal. We will try to uh, respond as soon as we can. Now, I will request you, those of you who have uh, joined us now, to um, raise your uh, doubts or questions in the chat box section and I will be happy to respond. The other um, few questions I would like to uh, discuss is, and that is uh, raised by many of you about, uh, you know, Kantian uh, notion of uh, freedom, how he uh, connects uh, freedom with autonomy and morality. These questions I have, uh, you know, <coughs> uh, discussed in the previous live session, live session as well. So. Um, in Kantian um, ethics or Kantian understanding, uh, freedom is something which is an ability to decide or think for oneself. So uh, this ability to think or decide for oneself is not a kind of license to do anything that one wants to do. It must fulfill certain conditions and that condition is the condition of autonomy and morality. So in the uh, Kantian framework of uh, freedom, unlike say uh, Berlin, uh, negative and positive conception of uh, liberty, you have a kind of uh, uh, very close connection between uh, freedom and autonomy and morality. And how he does so is through this uh, uh, a priori maxim called categorical imperative. And categorical imperative is that uh, uh, maxim or principle which not uh, which does not tell the individual what to do or what not to in a particular given context. It gives a, um, a, a direction or a kind of instruction as to how one should decide for oneself. So, a priori maxim in um, uh, Kant, uh, uh, Kant's uh, categorical imperative is about to follow that course of action in a given context that you want others to follow universally and unconditionally. So, these are the conditions that must be met before you act upon certain things or act in a particular circumstances. So, so what uh, does it require that you decide for yourself in the sense you legislate for yourself. There is no external authority, no external agency that tells you what to do. But when you yourself decide what you should do, you follow certain maxim, you follow certain um, uh, ethics uh, that is universal and unconditional that you want others to follow without any compromise, without any uh, discrimination. So, um, in um, Kantian uh, notion of uh, freedom, uh, this uh, three uh, principles of freedom, autonomy and morality are interlinked. So, one can truly realize one's uh, freedom, one's ability to do certain things 
having the courage to act upon what one thinks is something you know which leads to enlightenment that is the larger project and therefore we discussed kant as the quint essential enlightenment thinker so um, i hope um, although um, uh, you may still have some questions if you have please um, write that on the discussion forum and i'll be happy to discuss that so um, um, in um, kant uh, therefore one uh, has to include this idea of um, freedom to um, morality and autonomy so a individual is autonomous to think for himself to decide for himself or herself and while he or she thinks for himself or herself they also are subject to certain universal or unconditional morality and ethics that one wants everyone to follow in the same uh, condition in the same circumstances universal so uh, that's on um, kantian idea of uh, freedom and uh, how that is connected to the idea of autonomy and morality or right, so uh, many of you have asked about uh, uh, the books or the pdf which i have already discussed that most of these are already uploaded but few remainings will be uploaded soon at, uh, once it is done and within this week most of them so okay there is no question then i think we can conclude this uh, session uh, let me discuss uh, one or uh, two things more and request those of you who are in this meeting to um, write your uh, queries or dots on the uh, chat box section and i'll have i'll be happy to respond to them as well Okay, so uh, many of you are also asking about uh, changing the exam center or also possibility of writing the exam for uh, from home, considering the um, pandemic and uh, lockdown uh, in many states. <clears throat> so you know, as you uh, as uh, till today the. idea is to have it at the designated center and you are supposed to go there but if there is some changes you will be updated accordingly and uh, you should visit uh, the um, course portal regularly so uh, to get any updates or new direction on that now um uh, 
there is uh, a number of questions about um, political theory and uh, thought and what are the difference between the two. So uh, you can um, use uh, uh, our introductory and uh, concluding lecture to know a bit more about uh, the difference as in thought and political theory uh, the subject matter is political and it is very difficult to um, uh, classify or categorize something as strictly political or something which is apolitical or non -political. Because you know, uh, with the feminist uh, conception and assertion of personal is political, so the sphere of life, which was regarded in classical liberal thought as private life, and uh, a distinction was established between private and the public life, and the subject matter of uh, politics is about the issue affecting the public life or the collective life of the community. Now that distinction is based and also uh, you know uh, the politics is not just about the state, constitution, laws and institution but it is also about <clears throat> the other spheres of life including social and culture. So you know the politics is a very broad and comprehensive um, um, uh, area and political theory and political thought deals with uh, uh, that uh, broad comprehensive area we consider political. Now the difference between uh, theory and uh, thought is that uh, theory is a systematic um, a study of political phenomena and that we do through certain concepts, certain categories and in political theory we deal with those concepts and categories that help us <coughs> understand politics in any society or any community and uh, you know and there are certain methods uh, and there are different kinds of political theory normative political theory uh, empirical political theory and so on that we have discussed political thought is generally a reflection or a contemplation of few individual or a group of individual about the larger question of uh, quality. So they uh, uh, tend to ask questions about what is good society, how to lead a good life, why to lead a good life there is a need for a good society or a good quality, how we can um, uh, uh, constitute a good society or a good state, what does it mean to have an ideal state and so on. So the political thinker tend to ask these larger uh, questions about politics, life, uh, and how to lead a uh, good dignified life. So uh, 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 that's the uh, uh, difference between political theory and thought. If some of you are interested, you can also uh, do a course on say, Indian political thought or Western political thought. All right, so it seems that there is not uh, many questions. So let me conclude this uh, live session with uh, uh, thanking you again for joining this course and um, uh, submitting your assignment and also uh, regularly interacting uh, with us uh, through your questions, comments and feedbacks and I request you to do so uh, in future as well uh, before your exam. We would like to respond to any questions, queries and dots that you may have. And I'd also uh, take this opportunity to uh, invite you to give your feedback and comments so that uh, we can improve this course uh, uh, further. Now, uh, uh, to conclude this session, let me uh, thank you again uh, and wish you all the best uh, for the final exam. Thank you. All.